Some 370 delegates from 22 countries and regions took part in the 14th Hong Kong Forum, the annual flagship event of the Federation of Hong Kong Business Associations worldwide. It was organized by the Hong Kong Trade Development Council with the Federation, which has more than 11,000 members from associations around the world. The two-day event included networking events, panel discussions, and site visits. Federation Chairman George Legros and the HKTDC Chairman Jack So opened the 2013 Forum. Hong Kong has many core values, such as the rule of law, low taxation, freedom of uh, enterprise. But perhaps one of the most important core value is freedom of information. Hong Kong's advantages were further underscored by the head of the world's leading chemical company, who explained why Hong Kong has become the firm's regional headquarters. This is not only the proximity to China that makes Hong Kong attractive. It is also its special status. For me, the one country, two systems aspect is very important when dealing with customers and our officials across Asia. Social entrepreneurs were invited to share experiences about how they created business models from charitable projects. Younger business leaders running their family businesses or striking out on their own shared insights on whether being born into a business family means they must work harder to prove themselves. Labeling is, is just labeling and, and you continue to work hard and, and, and you know, get on with it. Hong Kong's role as a key gateway between the mainland and international markets was explored by renowned China experts, top executives from JP Morgan and the Bank of China International Prudential also shared their views. Hong Kong as a mature financial center, for instance the offshore RMB market, um, London is trying to do it, Frankfurt is working on it, Taiwan, Taipei is trying to play a role, Singapore obviously is the most imminent competitor, but people realize that the deepest RM, offshore RMB market is still in Hong Kong. Hong Kong's reputation as a great place to start a new business was underscored by young entrepreneurs attending the forum. Lisa Chung of Sheer explained how giving back to the community is a key to success. The closeness that we have to China is a great advantage. China is a great manufacturing uh, country, so we were able to get our mannequins, our hangers, some, some small knickknacks to the larger things in, in about a couple of weeks. So we were able to open the shop in about one month, including all the renovations. So that is in record time, I, in my opinion. One highlight of the forum was the day two luncheon keynote speech from Hong Kong SAR chief executive CY Lung. This forum is one of the most valuable events of the year for Hong Kong. And I'm not simply pandering uh, to the audience. I strongly believe that Hong Kong's greatest strength is in its ability to share its China experience and China advantage with the rest of the world. And we depend on you and your associations to communicate this strength to new investors. The forum took time to recognize outstanding achievements among its members and 35 affiliated Hong Kong business associations around the world. It also hosted the regional caucuses with member associations to share ideas and experience. This is a good combination of business, of information about country, about people, about the condition of the business, and uh, that's why it's very good. Site visits to Hong Kong company Giermani and the new Kaitak cruise terminal broadened horizons beyond the walls of the forum venue. And a fond farewell at the gala dinner to celebrate the fruitful two-day program. It was also the first time the delegates visited Nanjing City in Jiangsu province and met with local government officials and business leaders. There is sure to be much more to explore next year, so join us for the 15th Hong Kong Forum in December. <laughs> <laughs>